We all desire this assurance that we are on the right path. No one enjoys making mistakes, and for many of us, we have the inherent fear of doing the wrong thing. However, we are all humans, and sometimes no matter how hard we try, we do get it wrong. We make mistakes and terrible decisions we regret when we later think about it. This is something everyone would face at one point or other in life. One thing we need to learn is to pick ourselves up when we fail, and don't beat ourselves up for too long when we make mistakes. Your mistakes are not the end of your life. They do not define you. I know this may be hard to take, especially if you're a perfectionist, but we all need to learn to give ourselves grace. Instead of beating ourselves up, we need to learn from the mistakes we make and do better next time. Every time you decide to start something new and ask yourself if you're truly on the right path, check the motive of your heart and try to imagine the outcomes of your actions. This way, you would be more cautious about how you live each day and the decisions you make. It's easier to be on the right path when you're conscious of it. Instead of being upset with yourself, prepare yourself and do your best next time. Also, learn to always pause and check if you're on the right path, because it's easier to turn back midway than to turn back at the end. Our lives are a sum of our good days and bad days, our meeting stakes and successes and days we were right and others we were wrong. Instead of being so critical of our mistakes, we should live a life completely and give our best in all that we do so that we would have no regrets. An area you should pay attention to is signs that you are on the right path. You may think you're on the right path and you are not. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12, there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. Even when a path seems right to you, ask God for clarity about it and let him lead you and guide you on the right path. It may be a decision about your finances, your career, your friendships, or any other area of your life. While God won't force his choices on you, he is intentional about every area of your life. It's wise to ask him for directions and acknowledge him in all your ways. You would know that whatever guidance he gives you would be in your best interests. It is beautiful to have God as our Father, knowing that he knows the future even from the present. He sees what we cannot. He knows what we do not, and he can tell where the path we are following would take us to. You may be called too spiritual for always asking God for direction, but in doing this, you can have that assurance that you are on the right path for you, even when it doesn't look like it. Many times, it's easy to make decisions of our own will and stubbornly follow through. In fact, it may be the best option based on all of our calculations, but the future is not determined solely by calculations. There are variables that we cannot predict which affect how things turn out. Sure, there are some results we get from simply following certain principles. However, there are times that our calculations would fail, and only those who have learned to rely on the Lord would know what to do. It is hard to be sure that you're on the right path, especially if you've made a mistake before. There is doubt that plants itself in your heart when you have failed once. You have to fight it and follow through with what guides you to pass. You may have failed 50 times or maybe even more than that, but you must learn to try again. You must not give up just because you have failed before. Although there is a chance you may fail, there's also a chance that you may succeed. You must push on because of that chance of success. With God, you can even be assured that you would succeed. He will not mislead you, so you can let go of that fear that's been tormenting you. In as much as you have breath in your lungs, then there's a lot still possible for you. It is not over yet. You have to look doubt in the face and say to it, I acknowledge that you are real, but I will still try anyways. You may be at that point of decision right now, and you may be wondering if you're on the right path. Here are some signs that you are on the right path. Everything may begin to fall in place for you. 
One way you may know that you're on the right path is that everything begins to fall in place for you. Resources you need begin to show up. People that support your cause suddenly surround you, and all the things that you need find you. In fact, at some point, you may wonder why some things are easy for you. When all you need begins to find you, don't waste that opportunity. Give your best to it. Remember to whom much is given, much is expected. You have the strength to continue even when things get difficult. There is no path that you take that you will not experience some measure of difficulty. When you are on the right path, you will still face some difficulties. When you are faced with such and you have unmatched strength to fight through it, this may be a sign that you are on the right path. This is not just talking about being stubborn about your decisions. It is talking about a strength that you do not even know you have. You are not compromising on your values. Whatever makes you compromise on your convictions is not usually the right path. How much you have to compromise on your values may be a sign that path is not the right one. The right path should not make you leave your values behind, especially when it has something to do with your faith. You are happy doing what you are doing. There is a joy that comes from doing what you are supposed to do in life. This may be an indication that you're on the right path that even when you're experiencing some difficulty, you are still full of joy. You experience unusual peace. This is the kind of peace you experience when you're going through difficult times. It cannot be explained. You just have this assurance that all things would turn out well. You experience God's guidance. You can be sure that God will not guide you to the wrong path. He will bring you to the right place. When God instructs you on what to do and where to go, and you follow it, this is a sign that you are on the right path. Stop allowing fear to rule your heart. One thing fear does is that it keeps you at one point without allowing you to make progress. Place your faith in the hands of God and trust that He will guide you on the right path. You can be assured that God will not mismanage your life. He knows what He is doing with your life and He will not make mistakes. Even when God is not saying anything about the decision you want to take, learn to wait on Him and hear from Him. This is how you can be sure that the path you're taking is in line with His purpose for your life. Sometimes, even by looking at the scriptures, you can know God's thoughts about the path you are taking. So do not be afraid to turn your back if you realize that you're on the wrong path. Don't be afraid to acknowledge that you have been wrong, but take that bold step to reroute your life. Know this, even when you make mistakes, your mistakes would work out for your good. Pray with me. Lord, I thank you because you have a plan for my life and you know the end from the beginning. Thank you for holding my hands. I pray that you would help me know the right path to follow and give me the strength to stay through to it even when it's difficult. I ask that you would show me if I am on the wrong path and give me the courage to leave it. Thank you, God, for hearing me. In Jesus' name, amen.